The Willimantic Police have handed over this investigation to the Connecticut State Police, who right now are working to gather enough evidence to charge the suspect, Michael Reese, with murder. I feel like she's a fallen angel because she was she was just trying to save somebody or help somebody not not get killed. In Willimantic, a real life house of horrors. That place it looks dark all the time. It's like gloomy. Now it's October 31st. That really is a October 31st house. This is a Halloween house now. It's where over the weekend police discovered a body in the basement. Police Chief Paul Hussey calling it one of the worst cases I have seen in 27 years of law enforcement. But since that statement, both Willimantic and state police have gone silent about what happened inside. I'd absolutely like to know more. I think we should all know more. According to police documents, the house on Chapman Street provides transitional housing specifically for sex offenders. No, I do not know that. That's why I'm really pissed off. I'm really like, uh, I can't even believe that. That's next to places right here. They were next door, this little girl. The suspect, Michael Reese, a registered sex offender. The warrant details how he tampered with his GPS ankle device. Police caught him trying to run out the back door with a knife and a crack pipe. Reese convicted in 2007 after stabbing a woman in the throat, leaving her for dead in a cemetery. He was sentenced to 16 years in prison just released in March. I do believe that this falls on the state because the state needs to know who they're discharging into the community and what the capacity is for that person to do harm in the community. And I don't know as though the state has done that. As for the victim in this case, we don't know her name, but we do know she was a visiting nurse. This family, this woman, wonderful woman, nurse, uh, the family is well known all throughout Eastern Connecticut. Reese was her client. She was in the house alone. I would not dream that someone should go, should have gone into that house alone. And who is supervising the house? State Representative Susan Johnson told me she'll be working with her colleagues to find out where the system broke down and how to fix it, including making sure prisons provide mental health intervention and making sure judges have all the evidence they need to make informed decisions. Reporting in Willimantic, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.